Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to our Mental Health Day podcast for today With the topic self-harm among adolescents And today we have uh, been honoured and been grateful uh, Because we have a guest from uh, that fly from Indonesia uh, Let me introduce our speaker He's Associate Professor Dr. Shanti Wadani Seh from University of uh, Muhammadiyah, Yogyakarta. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you. And uh, she's uh, been in the uh, uh, being the lecturer for 20 years, right? Yeah, yeah 20 years in the Indonesia. And he has a lot of publication in the mental health. And uh, the reason for, for her being here is because uh, we have a mobility exchange program yeah. and then uh, you uh, handle the uh, master program and psychiatric nursing, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, how how was your flight today? Uh, yesterday. So, uh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Everything is, uh, was smooth and Alhamdulillah, I can uh, touch down in Kuantan. Okay. Luckily. So you reached here last night, right? Yeah. Quite, quite late. <laughs> okay. So that's that's okay. So we like to have a conversation regarding this topic yeah. that of among adolescent, right? Uh, Dr. Shanti? Yes. So I, I believe you have met a, a lot of uh maybe uh, some cases that show to uh to you about barcode things. Yeah. We call it barcode. Barcode. Ah yeah. yang hiris hiris tangan yeah. we call it barcode here and it becomes uh, 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 behavior that has been copied by others. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, let me just uh, um, share with you a little bit about this issue, especially among adolescents, which has been a global concern. Yeah. Right. And it has affects a million of young people. Mm. Yeah. That's that's a worrying number. And the rates in Malaysia and uh, Indonesia so far, we don't have the exact figure. Yeah. But it could be around 6 to 18 yeah, percent. The prevalence. Yeah, the prevalence. And, and this is uh, the factors that can cause this self harm could be bullying, yeah. social pressure. And uh, however, we, we think that uh, we need to raise awareness yeah. about this issue and promote mental health education. Yeah. One of it is via this podcast. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe we can. Uh, talk further about provide support services to our young uh, people, right? But yeah, yeah, right. So, uh, my first questions would be, yeah, uh, uh, what is self harm actually? Maybe you can give more explanation about the characteristic of the self harm yeah. behavior, and then why it become a such common issue among uh, our uh, young age population. Okay, thank you. Uh, Dr. Nur Rasikin, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Nice to meet you all the audience uh, Dr. Nur Rasikin, it is uh, my pleasure to be here And we discussed before about the uh, self-harm Self-harm is a non-suicidal non self-injury uh, That's It is uh, consciously causing uh, harming in the uh, people they uh, hurt their own body part of body such as uh, like uh, you talked about they are about the uh, uh, burning burning as scarting and also uh, heart and everything and uh, not only but another uh, another uh, reference it's also not self injury. Self harm is not also a self injury, but also uh, self heart. Self heart is a neck with heart than ourselves, like a day driving uh, in damage manner, driving a motorcycle or a car in the damaging. Uh, uh, manner yeah, yeah, yeah. The, oh, they not obey the oh, traffic uh -huh. uh, uh, regulation, and also they consciously uh, not eat for several days. So like a total neglect to some. yeah, totally neglects to them themselves. This is uh, the self harm itself. So the the 
now is the egg for heart themselves is variety there maybe they're uh, uh, trying to hurt uh, or, or harm in another way anything can they do uh, yeah so i think i really like the explanation because Maybe uh, our our people think that uh, self harm is a behavior that cutting them. Yeah, yeah. Using it's yeah. Behind, it's right? not intends to be uh, to not intends to suicide. Yeah. But they they just only want to uh, hurt themselves. Yeah. Maybe it's intentional or without any intention. And yeah, because yeah. then without in in any, any, any intention. I think that is a, a real concern now. Yeah, yeah. Now. And why it's happened to among uh, among the adolescents? Because as we know that uh, uh, some, I think this is some factor that's influenced that uh, the uh, behavior. Uh, first is because of the uh, in an adolescent the development in their uh, they want to know identity they they identity yes as we know uh, in adolescence uh, people uh, the development of the brain uh, uh, especially is a uh, precortex it's still ongoing oh, in this yeah uh, as we know the precortex is including to how to they to problem solving and also to control their mind and emotion so in this condition they uh, in adolescence is still difficulty to regulate their emotion uh, difficulty to regulating emotion and another uh, cause is because as uh, Dr. Nora can talk about before that about the uh, social pressure social pressure and also uh, pre peer uh, peer group uh, oh, pressure yeah, peer group. yeah like uh, isolating by their yeah, friend reject yeah rejection by their friends yeah. bullying yes. yeah and also the uh, they want to do something but they worth that's worthless to do That yeah. also include body shaming. Body shaming, it's yeah. also which is quite quite popular yeah, nowadays, yeah. especially among females who got puberty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The change yeah. of the body, yeah. body fat, and so yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so uh, I believe that you already uh, uh, we already discussed about the reasons for these young people uh, get involved into this kind of uh, behavior, self harm yeah. behavior. Then. Uh, Let's move into psychotherapies. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, is there any particular therapies or include the support system yeah. available? Maybe you can share from the point of view in Indonesia first. Yeah. In Indonesia is uh, we do some psychotherapy that uh, common in other uh, therapies uh, give to the uh, people with self harm is versus co- uh, cognitive. Uh, behavior therapy and also is uh, important to uh, family therapy because as you know they need the support from their uh, family and also uh, peer therapy it's also peer therapy, yeah, peer therapy. and then uh, AMRD what, what, what is uh, A movement Uh, a movement a a m d r a m d r yeah so this is for to one of the causes of uh, self harm is uh, traumatic so a m d r is common to do uh, to reduce the traumatic even oh yeah so that they can be emotionally yeah happy yeah they are thinking about the and therapy. also hypnotherapies hypnotherapy hypnotherapies yeah. So these are the some of the therapies that are available yeah, in Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then uh, let's talk about the the role of the school 
ah, yeah. as well as communities okay. can enlarge in, in order to promote uh, mental health activities uh, for all adolescents, not just focusing on the self harm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in school, in the school is uh, first is we have to uh, build awareness about mental health. Yeah. It is an important one. Uh, like uh, sometimes uh, it's still in the uh, old generation said that uh, bullying is not really uh, happen. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's that's a uh, kidding. It's that's. It's just a kidding. Yeah, it's not bullying, but uh, it is important to uh, uh, what is it? The social uh, socialization about the awareness in mental health, and then is the program. The program is important uh, for uh, prevention. Is a screening. Uh, it is important to know uh, the screening. Uh, it is not only about the self harm, yeah, the but yeah. uh, a common mental health issues. We have to know. Uh, in in the adolescence, we uh, give some screening, the tools with the screening. Can you give an example of the tools that you use? In Indonesia, we use SRQ S. SDQ, SDQ, SDQ for uh-huh. the adults. Oh, for the adults. Yeah, and the uh, school, the school uh, junior high school and also senior senior high school, we can uh, use uh, SRQ. But for the elementary school and also junior high school, we we uh, the SDQ. We use SDQ. SDQ. It's a simpler way. It's a, yeah, simply to understand yeah. uh, by the. Parent is also the uh, student as well to answer the screening. So uh, let's talk, let's highlight the yeah. the rules. Yeah. The rules of maybe who is actually our targeted uh, individuals that is responsible to to run this mental health program. Hmm. All all part in the school. I all, think all all people. All people. In yeah, in the school. Not only the student, but also the teacher. The teacher is, I think, they are very important. They are very important target, and also the parents. The parents. Yeah, the parents is the coordination because uh, between three uh, parties, <laughs> three parties. Yeah, of the parent, uh, the uh, teacher, and. The school is supported by the regulation. Okay. Yeah, and also the uh, student itself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would like to uh, highlight this important issue yeah. as well because we also involved in the uh, mental health program that we run at the schools, sponsored by uh, one of the uh, uh, NGOs in uh, Malaysia. And then one of the thing that we also concern. Uh, yeah, are about the involvement of not just the school counselors in Malaysia, but also the probably the headmaster, the teachers, and uh, also the parents. Yeah, and we are yet to bring all these people together to uh, unite and give awareness about uh, this issue. Hmm. Not just uh, give the uh, the big responsibility to the. To the school counselor, so I believe this is an important, yeah, yeah. important strategy that yeah. we need to tackle in Malaysia as well as in Indonesia. Yeah, in Indonesia too. Yeah, and then we did also highlight about the need for the policy change, ah, especially yeah. in education system. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Uh, or maybe the collaboration between min- two ministers. Yeah, two minister, and also I think right now it's very important to uh, collaboration with the uh, Ministry of. Uh, what is it? Communicate, communi- communication. Communication. Yeah. ICT. ICT. Yeah. Information and technology. Yeah, information and technology. Yeah. Because uh, now uh, our young generation is they uh, totally interact with the ICT. Oh, the social. Media. Yeah, the social media. They can uh, maybe uh, our their interaction between parent is. Less than their in their connection with the social media. And then uh, 
let's talk about uh, let's talk back about the bully. Yeah. The bully like uh, in Malaysia the school children uh, have been uh, educated regarding there are various types of bully. Not uh. just physical bully but yeah. there can be a uh, verbal bully mm. uh, in terms of a uh, sexual types of bully yeah. touching and yeah. so on. So I think it is very important to raise this awareness not mm. just among the school children yeah. but also the parents as well. Yeah. Right. Right. So uh, maybe you can share a little bit about the awareness program that has been done among the parents in Indonesia. Yeah, we uh, in Indonesia we uh, also have the program, and we called uh, some of school. They have a like a parenting class for the parents. It's held uh, a month, uh, at least in the third in the semester every semester we have a, like a community because uh, uh, the communication between parent and also teacher teacher meeting teacher oh, meeting, meeting with the, with the teacher, teacher. Uh, yeah okay. does this involve the ministry ministry of education ministry of education yes the ministry of education and ministry of health oh, i see yeah we we collaborate uh, in the uh, the program uh, we share about what is a bullying and what kind of bullying the types of bullying and how the uh, the parent have to know this uh, for example identify uh, the student which uh, get bully that's get bully like uh, for example it's a uh, uh, their their uh, children maybe if uh, they have a change of behavior in the school of or the house for example they, they don't want to go to the school absent uh, with, with with any reason uh, I'm dizzy I'm a uh. stomach that we have to know we have to check the the parent have to uh, aware what's happened yeah i agree yeah yeah I because agree. yeah and also the teacher sometimes the bullying is uh, do by the teacher as itself yeah. for verbal example bullying. yeah verbal bullying for example the kids cannot answer the question for or the quiz from the teacher and the teacher give the respond not good respond or, uh, you always uh, know uh, do mistake or they they same uh, do same in in front of the uh, what is it the, the friend in the class unconsciously maybe yeah yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe because of uh, the culture of because the uh, yeah social behavior yeah so looking at the bigger picture we cannot we really cannot say that our younger popul- uh, population are fragile yeah we cannot say because there are a lot of factors that yeah really yeah i agree doctor okay. yeah yeah oh so maybe we need to understand them uh, in a bit more according yeah. to their uh, current situation yeah the current situation and also the condition uh nowadays uh adolescents in no uh uh, younger population nowadays they sometimes they got many pressure from the society for example can you give uh, examples doctor? for example maybe their friend can have any kind of the good vehicle or the oh, opportunity okay. Okay. yeah like yeah the like motorcycle and they uh, could could not be their circle and the yeah, group they don't have they it. don't have okay. because they don't ha- they don't have that kind of the uh, what is it the good that yeah, the that, goods yeah. yeah it also include handphone and for yeah tablet and, uh, yeah and so yeah, on, yeah. you yeah. not my circle because you because you don't have this kind of the okay. uh, good so yeah in order for them to be included yeah they need to have one yeah yeah uh, yeah social pressure I agree because we talk with some of the parents who are also the teachers 
they also become dismayed that their children want certain good things. Yeah. For example, like uh, bicycles. And yeah. The children went out at night just to ride bicycles with the friends. Uh-huh. Otherwise, they won't be included in the. In yeah, 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 yeah. These things. Yes. So I believe these things also extend. To the university level, yeah, yeah. Because our our students at the university, they are also not learn try to be adults, yeah. But at the same time, they are at the uh, ends of their adolescence. Yeah, yeah. So they still in the transition. 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 Uh, between adolescence and adult. <laughs> yeah. So, so I I believe that uh, in your university, you also uh, have met the students. Yeah, yeah. Some uh, self harm behavior, yeah, yeah. Uh, not just self cutting, but maybe in terms of self destruction uh, yeah, behavior, yeah. R- riding motorcycles, yeah, in very yeah. fast way, yeah. involved in the accidents, yeah. or you know, limit their their dietary intake. For yeah, example, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And then uh, I believe one more issue is about the bullying through social media. Yeah, cyber bullying. Cyber bullying. If they are not satisfied with the certain things, they just post in the their WhatsApp status, yeah, for yeah. example, and it creates and, conflict. And the unique one in yes. cyberbullying, we can bully or other can bullying the others one, uh, uh, not because they know somebody, because it's just what is it? A uh, copying copying mechanism. Me- yeah, mechanism. Yeah. yeah. But they don't know that that is not right yeah. in that <laughs> way right? because it can cause emotional damage to yeah, the yeah, right. person, the third party, and so on. Uh, yeah. It can also create another conflict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I believe this is something that is worrying. That's why as we need to create more awareness regarding this because we cannot control the students' behavior yeah, at yeah, our university, yeah. right? Right, right. So. Uh, Anything uh, that you find interesting at your university regarding this issue? Yeah, we in in our university we have the regulation for the uh, sexual harassment issue and also uh, what is it? Not only the napsa, na, uh, alcohol and uh, addiction. The, uh-huh. We protect our university. It's called Kampus Sehat Senyaman Taman. Ah, oh, Kampus Sehat Senyaman, Senyaman Taman. Taman. Kampus okay. Sehat Taman. Yeah. Kampus Sehat Senyaman Taman. It means that uh, all the aspect uh, health in in the uh, our health, uh, including the environment, is also social environment and also our physical and also mental health. We we concern in that. Uh, for example, in in the aspect of mental health. We provide uh, the counseling, the counseling services for the student and also for the uh, staff, lecturer, all, all faculty, and also the staff to do to get the consultation. See, who, is, who is the person in charge, or which office that in charge on the counseling? We in the counseling, we uh, collaborate and including all the staff who have the. Uh, psychological uh, profession like a nursing, psychologist, and a psychiatrist, psychiatrist. And we also have the peer counselor. Peer counselor. Yeah, we 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 have the peer counselor or kelompok sebaya in bahasa, and we train them, the team. We we recruit the student uh, in of. From the uh, all faculty, and we, they they can uh, admit uh, become the peer counselor, and okay. we we do test for them. Oh, we, yeah. Whether they are eligible. To yeah, be eligible part of the or not? Or... Interview like uh, and and so on, and they and then we train we train them how become the peer counselor because uh, as we know that. Uh, the student, uh, they more, uh, they are feel more comfortable if they talk to their friend, the the sebaya yeah, yeah. sebaya, yeah, like yeah. yeah. Here we call as peers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
regarding uh, of them we we uh, they can the the student who need the consular the consultation they can uh, uh, contact the uh, person in touch to do when can and then we schedule we make schedule and if the peer counselor cannot handle okay. sometimes uh, the student just only want to share their experience to regulate their emotion to the peer counselor if the peer counselor uh, find that the student need the profession so the psychiatrist okay. and also uh, the psychologist or nursing psychologist psychiatric nursing and psychiatric nurse i mean they can uh, refer to the more professional okay. yeah so we have the some step uh. because if we catch all the student it, it is if impossible yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i agree yeah and then when uh, the student uh, the student and they need the uh, medication we refer to the psychologist uh, oh, the psychiatrist, the psychiatrist. Uh, yeah i think uh, also I, i find it interesting over there because you already established a system of support uh, yeah. within the university and uh, maybe it's something that we can learn more about it rather than just do research do yeah opinion. yeah so uh, in your opinion How can we advise, you know, give like uh, some soft advice to those adolescents uh, to think back about maybe this is the time for them not to do this self-harm behavior. I see. Yeah. yeah. So, doctor, that's uh, we have to do some step. Yeah. Oh. Uh, for example, the causes is it is. Uh, related to the causes of the self harm so we have to assess first assess assess what ca- what the causes of the self harm uh, uh, behavior that they do uh, for example when they cannot the regulate the emotion so we teach yeah we teach we we give the psychotherapy to how to control the emotion how to learn to uh, some self management self management to uh, coping mechanism something if the problem is because of the because because the uh, bad uh, what is it bad behavior so we have maybe they need uh, some medication to uh, the, uh, if the self harm is causes Uh, or link with the mental condition we can uh, what is it, refer to the uh, psychiatrist first and then we can uh, do the therapy that <coughs> fit to uh, the student and it's important also we collaborate with the peer yeah uh, they collaborate with the peer somebody who close with the student with the somebody who have the self harm behavior in my research the last my research uh, we uh, do uh, interview or we do qual- qualitative research with uh, uh, among the student uh, who have the history of self harm what they need to co- recover to the self harm behavior they said that they said that they need uh, somebody who can support the uh, recovery the recovery and secondly they also need the professional they yeah does that mean that uh, before before they seek a uh, help yeah does that mean that they think that they are lonely in this yeah place? They lonely. It is also have uh, some student in uh, my supervise. Uh, uh, I supervise the student who uh, re- uh, study about the is that uh, 
any correlation between loneliness and self harm is right. Oh. Is there any correlation between loneliness? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Loneliness and uh, self harm behavior is any correlated. That means they have a few uh, yeah. only less friends or they, yeah, they don't fix yeah. with the friends. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, yeah. Maybe they are being preoccupied with the yeah, yeah. behavior because of that. Yeah. And uh, we, as the uh, supporting people, uh, or someone who support, or the company, the student with the self harm behavior, please don't be judging. Oh. Yeah, be, don't be judging. Don't judge, yeah. don't judge, and they need times to uh, recovery, they yeah. heal, and yes, yeah, just listen and also always support them okay so what uh, what is your advice to the parents yeah it is the for the parents is first they have to know uh, to what is it identify the student uh, the the people or the student uh, in adolescence yeah adolescence know the uh, Classification, classification, classification of self harm. For example, uh, identity the physically, the physic uh, we can uh, wear the uh, monitor as well in the part uh, which height. For example, in the length, the tight, and also the abdomen. I no, agree. yeah, yeah. Sometimes. We don't know where to look yeah, at the, yeah. the, which part of the body that has been injured. Yeah, yeah, until yeah. they show to us. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do agree in that, and also the parents need to monitor. The monitor yeah. and know the behavior, the changing behavior, for example, uh, the isolation behavior, and refusing some activity together with the family. It can be could be they have the. Uh, self harm behavior. So as a parents, you need to spend more time with our kids. Yeah, yeah. That's the main point. Yeah, the main point. And oh yeah, I forgot to um, talk about the self harm itself. It's because they want to desire the relief and dumbness, numbness. Numbness. Through this kind of behavior. Yeah, through the kind of behavior they they want to. Uh, desire numbness. That means they don't experience the Re- pain. Yeah, anymore. yeah. They they don't have the. What's kind? It's what happened to me. Uh, what is it? They 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 numbness. Mati rasa ya. Mati rasa. Yeah, numbness and yeah and they said that to through the behavior they can still release. What kind of pain that can we can they can feel? So it is very important okay, for, for the parents yeah, for the parent. to bring your your children fast for the yeah. help. And maybe this is a uh, we uh, maybe we can uh, maybe the the parent will find the what is it? Uh, re uh, penyangkalan. Menyangkal. Oh, deny. Deny, yeah, deny the behavior, and then because this is a sensitive uh, uh, conversation, I think. So the parent, please don't be judging your kids. Please be open to be, your kids. Please, uh, yeah, please be open to kids and bring them to the professional. It is important. This is very important. So I, I do agree with that, and. I think the parents need to, you know, really monitor, spend time, spend try time. to understand, treat your children like like your friends. Yeah, yeah. Don't right. put the hierarchy and don't ever neglect that the emotion right, and, right. and rejection. Yeah. So I believe that's true. And uh, what, what now? What is your message to the the school authorities or uh, university authorities? Yeah, about the. This issue, the self harm issues. Yes. Uh, the self harm is, is the self harm issues is really uh, real. <laughs> Sometimes it is not uh, 
taboo to talk about the self harm. I mean, we can we have to aware for this issue, so we can fight together, and we can uh, protect our uh, student from any kind of the mental health issues. Yeah, our future generation. Yeah, they are they are of our future generation. Actually, the, the those will lead the nations when we die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, in a short sentence, or maybe in uh, a sweet way. Yeah. What is your advice to the listener, whoever uh, they are? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, mental health issue is an important. In our life, because uh, no health without mental health. Yes. So we have to aware of our, uh, for the mental health issue, and uh, all of us can be the uh, safe environment for our generation. So please uh, love them and. Make uh, the society with uh, safe world. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I would like to thank a lot of. Uh, You're welcome, uh, Doctor. To Doctor Santi, because I think this is a sharing of knowledge as well as experience. Of maybe that we can improve. It's something that we can yeah. improve in Malaysia. And uh, it is clear that while uh, self harm among adolescents is a complex and troubling issue. So there are steps that we, we all can take together, not just uh, give to somebody to handle it, but we need to, as a parents, educator, as friends, we need to collaborate and uh, to support those who are struggling. Yeah. And for those who are struggling, you are not alone. Yeah. Okay. Just remember, you are not alone. You need to be brave to speak to someone about your issue. Okay. I think that's the most important thing. So. Yeah. To those uh, listeners, if you have someone who uh, who deal with the uh, self harm behavior, approach them in a empathy way, in a uh, very open, non judgmental. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Shanti, so uh, do not hesitate to yeah. bring your friends. Yeah. If if your friends uh, is not brave enough to to out of their uh, safe environment, you need to advise them to get help. So there are always resources available, and we are still improving our mental health services. We we will continue to support the mental health issues in Malaysia. So I think that's all for today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor Nasi. Thank you, the viewers. Assalamualaikum, and thank you for watching. Waalaikumsalam, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.